What does that mean? Helka smells something. Could be important. Maybe we should follow her. Tracks. Helka's. Where are you leading us, girl? So, what do you want to do now? We don't have to go straight home, do we? Look! Tracks from the olfactorily gifted hound. Seems we're on the right path. Hey, girl, we're here. Guess we should follow her. More paw prints. Little slobber balls, quite the tracker. Helka's tracks. I dare say she's got as skilled a nose for hunting as you, brother. Hers is superior. The eyes can lie. The nose cannot. Does that make you wish you could turn into an animal every once in a while? No. And there she goes. Looks like we're on Halka's trail. How could Birger have survived a fall like that? Magic, perhaps. Let's make sure to ask once we've extricated him from this situation. Should be easy to find Birger from up here. Why'd everyone sound so scared of this place? Uh, on that note... I'm fine. You? Hmm. Well, he seemed angry. What do you suppose that means? We are going the right way. 
Where are we anyway? Looks to be the ruins of a once thriving Vanier settlement. What happened? Don't rightly know. More reason to find a way out. long if that dragon has its way it will not do you see what i'm seeing a lightning bolt except it's frozen like the one made in my fight with thor but why would there be one just like it here in vanaheim Across this canyon. Let's look for another path then. What's this pipe doing here? Must have been built recently. Growing. <laughs> kind of small though. Might be magical. They are a bit odd. What would you have us do about them? I don't know. Maybe if we came back at night, they'll change somehow. <laughs> ah, isn't that interesting? What is it? Haven't a clue. Hence the interest. Still, crystals are valuable. Perhaps we'll find a use for it. <laughs> Dragon 
Speak. The day this valley was destroyed, my spirit was torn, split in two. Part of me, it lies out there with my remains. Perhaps if this brooch was tall at me, it would uncloud my mind. I could find peace. What do you remember of the day you died? Everything is hazy. I remember I was nervous. Approach. I can't propose to my beloved. Please, I beg you. Restore me. Restore my memory. Then I can tell you. Tell you all I know of that day. Your remains. Where are they? I was looking out upon the valley. On the ground. Shoot. I tried to dodge a pillar as it collapsed. I must not have made it. This specter may be able to tell us what happened in this valley, brother. The Leviathan froze that lightning. Do you think Mother was... you know... here? It means nothing. We do not know that Faye was here. True. But that frozen boat tells an unfinished story. If we want to know what really happened here, we need to know what that spirit remembers. Hmm. Then we go. I don't understand. Daniel used to live here? It's just a crater. It wasn't a crater when they lived here, lad. Something happened to it. What? Like, an explosion? It had to be huge. <laughs> no doubt about it. Just like the frozen lightning bolt in Midgard. Yet I have never been here. Curious. I see an altar up there. If we can reach it, we can change the time of death. is wrong with this kill. Dragons do not leave marks like these. We've seen those marks before in the Valander mines. Remember? Must be a soul eater around here. I can hear the animals. They're afraid. Aye. Let's keep a lookout for other kills. Soul eaters hide in plain sight. Oh! <laughs> 
Typically, those weak spots come in threes. Maybe there's another somewhere around here. <laughs> We have brought you what you asked. Thank you. My love, she waits for me in full thunder. Now I can ask her to spend eternity with me. How can I repay you? Tell us what you know of that day. I remember walking into a mead hall, and Thor was there. Hey, Vanahan, do you know why he was there? There were whispers that he was looking for a Vanir military outpost. I didn't want any trouble, so I got out quick. That's the last I saw of him. But maybe there are others who saw more. I wonder if Thor was meeting someone at the Mead Hall. Whoa. Do you think Thor was meeting Mom there? Faye never drank with me. And she would not have with him. Sometimes we never really know the ones we love, brother. Creature, the likes of which I've never seen. It had this barrel of mead that seemed to never go empty. What were they doing? Getting blind drunk from the looks of it. They were passing drinks around, reveling. Everyone had a tipple too many, but Thor, he was by far the drunkest of anyone there that day. Mimir, what do you make of this? Thor has always loved a strong drink with questionable company. But I've never heard any word of his creature companion. This isn't a lot to go on, I'm afraid. Well, we know one thing. Thor was totally drunk when the valley was destroyed. There's still much we do not know. And whether your mother was involved remains unclear. <laughs>
wish this one were like the dragons in Midgard. They were nice. They were also intelligent dwarves who had been transformed into dragons. Still. <laughs> some writing. Grab it, would you? 
Hmm, seems the travelers were told that by exploring the Nine Realms and beyond, they'd find a way into paradise. Told by whom? Someone calling themselves the Blind Guest. Odin. Sounds like the bastard, doesn't it? Oh, my God. 
just gotta find Birger. We should see if there are other dragons to hunt out in the crater. If we're gonna be, you know, healing the realm. in no time. I can't tell if he was patronizing or if that was just plain sad. Both. Thank you. You saved us back on the boat. Right, Father? It was foolish. And appreciated. There's a mystic gateway nearby. But I have no stone for it. We do. I can't believe you survived that fall. How'd you do it? I rolled. <laughs> Talk later. And under different circumstances, one hopes. Oh, well, with Birger safe, we can get out of here. Or explore some more, if you wanna. Now that I've spent time in Asgard, it's strange to imagine Magni and Modi there. Sif raised them both, right? She seems like a good mom. Maybe a little overprotective. A good mother? Not the Sif I knew. Not now. back to clean up the mess that extra head of yours made. We have done it. Doesn't fix what I did, but hopefully it makes things a bit better. Let's be off, brother. Your hammer. Thanks. Might not mean much with Odin's goons stomping around the city, but folks see this and they'll know we haven't completely given up. Not yet. Never expected to see this thing again.
see which armpit of Muspelheim that seed leads to, huh? Mimir, Odin's mask. How do you hear about it in the first place? He said a voice spoke to him one night, entreated him to collect the mask and control his own fate. I still think it's all a bunch of bollocks. Odin got drunk, convinced himself a wooden mask would solve all his problems, and pranced about the realms until he found a sufficiently mysterious bauble to fit the bill. Mask probably doesn't do anything at all. Yeah, probably. I wanted to tell you. I read something in Odin's library about what Galahorn is supposed to do. If blown by a god, it sounds through all the realms and harmonizes the space between them. Blow it somewhere like Tyr's temple, and it would be like opening up all the realm travel towers at once. It's quite a vulnerability. Wonder why he didn't just destroy it. Some artifacts fire destruction. Well, we should make Freya aware of this. Thank you for coming. Speak. The tree has become rather overgrown. And? And if it grows too wildly, the branches risk getting too heavy and falling, which is not ideal considering they hold all the realms. I am no gardener. What an absolute shock. No, I do not require any horticultural skills from you, but I would ask that you keep an eye open for the stags of the Four Seasons. They normally graze upon the tree and keep it tidy. Unfortunately, Bitter decided it would be funny to trick Arrogant into releasing them. If you happen to find the stags during your travels, I would greatly appreciate assistance in bringing them home. I would have one of my spectral squirrels do it, but they, well, keep eating the feed I give them. Consequence of it being the most delicious food in all the Nine Realms, I suppose. Speaking of, here, take some feed. Once you've found a stag, the feed should calm them down. Then, one of my spectrals will guide them back here. And, uh, don't eat the feed, please. I will not. Bitterness asked me if I was too chicken to release them. But I am, in fact, not chicken-like whatsoever. So, as you can see, I had no choice. Yes, of course. What else could you have done? As you ask. While normally this would be a harmless thimble winter prevented. This one has a strong personality. Good thing I've got experience with those. So were you always a freakishly large immortal squirrel, or...? <laughs> Don't forget handsome. No, I was once a regular squirrel. The same size as these wispy, spectral versions of myself, in fact. I was unremarkable. I stumbled upon the tree near what should have been the end of my life, the victim of a random act of predatory savagery. But the tree, it had other plans for an insignificant creature like me. But I have prattled on for far too long. I will leave you be, Master Kratos. No more. Ah, a busy man, I see. Don't let me keep you. Just talking. You are the best. You have always been the best. Hey, tell her she's the best. Oh, you're back. The heroes of the hour. I want to hear everything. I mean... And when you're ready, I'm not giving orders here, am I? Try to rest, Ingvi. Let the herbs work. Oh, they work? Oh, they, they work very well. Because you make things better. You always have. Since, since we were kids, I find a new way to get into trouble. And you find a way to make it better. Well, that's certainly true. You know... <clears throat> You know we used to leave Vanaheim together when we were young. Not much Enough. Enough. Look at that. <laughs> you really did it. How, in all the nine realms, did you manage to kill Heimdall? 
I knew our spear would do the trick. Well, happy Ragnarok, everybody. Let's drink. Is it true? Heimdall's dead. I can't believe it. There's no stopping it now. Odin swore peace only so long as you spilled no more Aesir blood. I refuse that deal. Yet he honored it. But now... But what? You and I know better than anyone that Odin's promises never last. We have the advantage now. It's time to bring him down. No. None of you understand what's coming. Odin's vengeance will be his only concern. Not his only concern. The mask. Whatever knowledge it unlocks, that's what Odin wants more than anything. If I go back to Asgard, go I can... Go back. Go back. Look. If I can finish what I started there, awaken the mask, get answers, maybe that's our way out of this. But I gotta go soon. Before they figure out what's happened. Atreus, you are home. Do not ask me to put you at risk again. He's at risk where he stands, Kratos. We all are. Anything we do or don't do is dangerous right now. But Odin needs me. He trusts me. I'll be safe there. From a tactical perspective, am I wrong? I don't much like it, but it is our best play. Dividing Odin's focus would buy us time. And give us a pair of eyes in the enemy's inner sanctum. But if there is truly a source of infinite knowledge, you can't let Odin have it. Aye. And once he has what he needs from you, then I lose my leverage. I get it. I'll be smart. Father, I can do this. Remember our promise. You too. You know what you're doing. I do too, Sam. Well, I still want to hear how you did it. You mean how we did it? Ah, uh, you have me. And therein lies a tale. Listen, I can't let you go back without this. A hammer? Your key, please. You ever need a way out of a bad situation? Throw this down hard and say, Wergi. One use only. Wergi. Thanks, Sindri. Hope I don't need it. Me too. All right, Odin said Hugin would be waiting in the cabin. Mimir, anything else I should know about Odin? Maybe a weakness or something? Like if I flip up his eye patch, he'll disintegrate. Aye, lad, wouldn't that be? Yeah, no. Sorry, Mimir, I can't do your accent. I'm on my own for this one. We go. That 
Ben? Huh? You made it back! Uh, hey. This is your wool? Ah! Stop doing that. <laughs> oh, were you having a moment? It sort of looked like you were having a moment. I can go. No. Sorry. This is Fenrir. Mm. It's okay, Ben. She's, uh... <laughs> <laughs> So I was right about your knife. Huh? I'm glad you found a place for his soul. <laughs> me too. Hey, uh, how'd you find me here? Loki? This is my marble. <laughs> and where are you heading off to? Back to Asgard. Hey, I'm actually using him. Uh-huh. Angerboda, look. Once I see this through, I'm gonna know everything. How to save my father, how to stop Ragnarok, and maybe, hopefully, how to bring our people back. Loki, those are all very noble. Intentions, but he's Odin. You have faith in me, right? Of course I do. I just hope the story you're writing for yourself is the one that you truly want. Would you, would you take care of Finn while I'm away? I'll take good care of him. Oh, night, boy. <laughs> Be careful, Loki. Help Odin complete the mask, but also make sure he doesn't get any answers from it. Easy, right? He's probably in a study. <laughs> 